Todd from Far Frameworks. And while it seems like it's Hawaiian Shirt Friday, it's actually new TIG Torch Tuesday. That's right, we're going to be upgrading the TIG Torch on my AHP Alpha TIG 201 XD welder. That's a mouthful. But let's go see what that entails and all the parts I needed to get to make this happen. Okay, this is everything we need for this TIG Torch upgrade. I'll be sure to include all the links to all the items in the description below so you can check them out later. For the TIG Torch, I went with the CK9 with the flex head. I did this for a couple reasons. One is I don't really weld a lot of thick metal, so I much prefer the size and the maneuverability of this torch over something that's a little bit more heavy duty. Second, I went with the flex head because I figured it would be better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. I went with the 25 foot super flex hose. This thing is straight butter. It's amazing how lightweight and flexible it is. And that 25 foot length is not going to constrain me in this shop. I was a little bit concerned about its durability on the concrete floor. So I got this one inch tubular climbing spec webbing. I'm going to try to put around the outside. We'll see how that works a little bit later. For the dense connector, we need a size 35. That's a half inch dense. And it's very important that we get it with the quick disconnect gas fitting as this is what the AHP welder needs. I've got a couple of smaller items here in the front that we're going to jump through very quickly. This is the Genuine CK gas lens. This really helps with argon uniformity over the surface. I got the stubby cap because the whole point of this new rig is to have a small and lightweight torch. I got the 332nd wedge collet, the 332nd tungsten, and then I decided to pick up one of these Furic cups. These have been getting a lot of buzz around the internet lately, and I wanted to see for myself if there was anything to that. This is the size 10 Jazzy cup. It's a Pyrex cup, which is kind of cool because you can actually see through it when you're welding. I don't really know if this is going to be any better than a traditional ceramic cup, but I'm interested to give it a shot and I'll probably do a follow-up video later with my impressions. Anyways, let's see how all this stuff fits together and then let's hook it up to the welder and see how it works. Now before we assemble the small parts to the body of the torch, I actually want to give this climbing spec webbing a shot. The idea is this will provide an extra layer of protection between the hose and the concrete floors in this shop. To facilitate this, I have an electrical snake that's 25 foot length. My plan is to pass this through the tubular webbing, grab the hose on the other side, and pull it back through. Let's see if it's that easy. So now that we are able to get the circular tubing on the TIG torch hose here, you can see I fastened it with simple zip ties at the end, it's time to assemble the dense connector and the rest of the torch parts. For the dense connector, it comes apart by removing this top lock nut and then prying it apart. I find that if you can get a fingernail in between here, it actually takes a bit of force and then once you've gotten to this point, it actually comes out and swoops out this way on this little piece here, just like that. Once you've taken that apart, it's really just a matter of fastening the TIG torch hose to the body of the dense connector here. On the TIG torch hose side, 
I use a 7 16 inch wrench and I tighten that down. And to get it tight, I use a crescent wrench on the bigger side of the body here and clamp that down. Once that's connected, the dense connector goes back on. You can see there's a wider part of the body here. That's where the incoming gas line goes. And you want to make sure both the incoming gas line and TIG hose pass through that portion of the dense connector body. Slide it into the accepting hex nut there. Dovetail this back in. Click it together and then screw the nut back on. And that's assembled and ready to be plugged into the machine. All right, now for the TIG torch itself. Um, you take the gas lens and the O-ring and you want to slide the O-ring up until the bottom of the threads there, up over the flat. You thread in the gas lens until it bottoms out. Only needs to be hand tight here. Flip it over, stick your wedge collet in, followed by your tungsten. And then on the back, the stubby cap. And you'll want to tighten that down until the collet holds the tungsten in place. And then for the furic cup, you'll want to lubricate the o-ring. I actually just lick my finger a little bit. Lubricate that up and then the cup slides on to that o-ring. Just like that. And there we go. The torch is assembled and ready to make an arc.